Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I do have another little wax haul for you. Um, supposed to be on a low buy and I just can't get a handle on it this year. I was doing so good between November and like May and then it all went to pot after that. So anyway, regardless, I have a wax haul. So this is from um, Midnight Daydream Wax Co. And the owner is Harrison. And Harrison is a relatively new um, wax uh, vendor. Well, you know what? Actually, <laughs> I might have to take that back because there's like new wax vendors popping up like every single day. I'm like seeing, you know, hauls from new vendors. Gosh, if I had all the money in the world, I'd order from all of them, but I don't. Uh, so maybe, I think Harrison might be in business maybe about a year, maybe a little bit less than that. Anyway, when he first opened his shop, he did send me some wax uh, to review some shot cups, and I sent shots, and I did enjoy it. And um, he had a coffee sampler the other day, and I, I even told him ahead of time, I said, I, you know, I'm sorry, I'm on a like really low, low, low buy, and I'm gonna have to pass this up for now. And he understood, no problem. Well, then the day of opening comes, and like, who's first in line? Me. And I just like the coffee ones just get me every time. I'm sitting like here now. I have like a Starbucks like frappuccino. But and uh, and anyway, for the coffee lovers out there, I am working on a top ten coffee scents in, uh, from my wax collection. That'll be coming up soon. That was suggested to me by my lovely subscriber slash friend, Marion. So I'm working on that. If you like Coffee Sense, keep watching for maybe next week or so, whatever. Anyway, today we're talking Midnight Daydream. So yes, this is the coffee sampler from Harrison is the owner. He did send me a nice little note here as well. This is his card. Um, highly scented candles made in small batches. Now, um, there's his website. And Harrison does have a Facebook group. However, he's more active here on Instagram. And I'll link his Instagram page down below for you as well. And there it is right there. So if you want to know, just like with all the other vendors, you got to be in the know. When are the openings? When are the restocks? When are the shipping? Um, the vendors will keep you up to date and all of that stuff in their groups, be it Facebook or Instagram. So uh, definitely keep up to date with Harrison on his Instagram page. So let's get into the haul, shall we? Uh, and the back just says like candle how-tos and whatnot, how-tos and whatnots. All right, first of all, uh, he sent me this lovely little Halloween bag with a couple samples. How cute is that? I definitely will be keeping that to repurchase it for something. And there was a sucker in here in caramel apple, yum. And two one ounce scent shots. And let me, oh, let me also backtrack a little minute um, by saying that uh, Shantae, on Instagram, just Shantae, her, my, Shantae, myself, and another YouTuber, Danny, and Danny's mom, and Joanne, another an Instagrammer. Danny's an Instagrammer too. Did I say that? Not Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Uh, anyway, we had a little Wax Friends brunch a couple weeks ago, and Shantae gifted me with a coffee scent from Harrison. It was so, 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 so good. And it's in my empties basket upstairs, but anyway, whatever it was, it was good. So definitely, I knew I was going to order more. Well, I wanted to order more. As I said, I had definitely told myself I wasn't going to, and then I definitely did order it. So anyway, anyway, that's just how it goes. So this is um, cookies and cream latte with freshly brewed coffee, cookies and cream crumble, pour date 8-1. So, uh, the, they're anywhere, I'll go with the scent date. Uh, Harrison also told me that he recommends a two to four week cure from poor date. So I am going to let these rest a little bit. Um, yeah. So what are we talking about here? Uh, cookies and cream latte, freshly brewed coffee with cookies and cream crumble. Oh gosh. The coffee is so strong in this one. I should have taken this out like I did the others. Oops. Oh, yeah, that is really, really good. I'm getting just, right now I'm getting a strong coffee. Not getting too much of the cookies and cream, but uh, we'll wait and see how that does when it cures. And this one here is, I don't know why I didn't take these out when I took the other ones out. Okay, this one is, I feel like I'm all fumbly today. 
um, apple pancakes, which is pancakes topped with baked apples, caramel drizzle, and chopped pecans. Oh, that's good. Getting the apple. It's kind of like, um, I'm getting like a little bit of pumpkin pecan waffles, but no pumpkin. I'm getting the apple, but that background note of the pecan of the waffles is what I'm getting with that one. And I love that scent. So that's going to work out just fine. And then for the scent shots, there was uh, six scent shots and six two ounce scent shots for $12.75. So let's just start here on the front, shall we? And this one is, uh, Haddonfield, which is fall breakfast, zucchini bread, and Vienna Cafe. And this one was poured on 7.30. Oh, this is good too. Definitely getting zucchini bread out of that first. A little bit of coffee. Mainly zucchini bread. Mm, that's good. Um, I'm not sure what fall breakfast is supposed to be. Maybe that's just, I don't know what Haddonfield is either. I have, to, I have to call muggles on that. I just, you know, learned that word a few months ago. Okay, uh, Amityville, which is Million Dollar Pound Cake, Bear Claws, and Vanilla Hazelnut Cappuccino. And this was poured on 731. This, I, I'm getting, oh, that's good. A little bit of pound cake, and a little bit of, a little bit of hazelnut cappuccino. Bear claws are like big, um, we have them in Canada. Oh no, those are beaver tails. Yeah, but I think bear claws is, is a pastry too. Okay, yeah, that's really good. I'm also getting, I'm getting a hint, a hint of cinnamon. I wonder if that's from the bear claws. Just a hint, but that's good. Okay, we'll go back here. And this is the Overlook Hotel poured on 7.30. And I think uh, pumpkin spice latte, mac, apple, and sticky brown sugar. No, I don't. I was going to say, this. I think this was the sample that Shantae sent me or gave to me. Ooh, apple first. Apple's coming straight out. Really strong. Really, really nice. Oh, these are so good. I could melt... I don't know why I keep buying other wax because I could melt like coffee scents every day. That is really, really good. I'm gonna make sure I don't get these mixed up. Uh, also poured on 731 is Crystal Lake, which is Palo Santo, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cafe Americano. Oh, yum. Definitely, I'm getting the Palo Santo. Now, I'm not really familiar with Palo Santo or Palo Santo, however you say it. I say Palo Santo. But um, I have one, I got something from uh, Rainbow Melts and it was uh, in a blend, but I, from what I'm, everything that I'm understanding about Palo Santo is that a fret is a fresh scent and I am getting a fresh note in here. Right now, that's all I'm getting. Maybe a little bit of vanilla with it. Like I'm getting fresh and vanilla. Oh, that's really good. And I'm not getting a cafe yet. But we're going to let it cure. And of course, don't forget, you know, when it hits the heat, it's, it's going to change up a little bit as well. Anyway, uh, this was poured on 730. And it is Elm Street, which is marshmallow, coffee cake, caramel, macchiato. Oh, that's really good. I'm getting something spicy in here. I'll guess probably from the coffee cake. Coffee cake usually has like a like a cinnamon crumble topping on top. That's what that is. Oh, yeah, that's really good, too. The cinnamon is a little strong on this one. It's stronger than anything else I smelt in this. So hopefully when it melts, it'll tone it down. That caramel and the, and the uh, marshmallow hopefully will settle it out a little bit. And finally, we have... Oops. And this was poured on 731. Dairy, which is cake batter, moon spice, and Brazilian coffee. I love moon spice. And I love moon spice with coffee. This is very good as well. Definitely, uh, you have to like uh, the Moon Spice blend. Moon Spice, it's usually Celtic Moon Spice, is cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. That's what Moon Spice is. 
And if you don't care for Moon Spice or those notes, you probably won't care for this one as much. But I love Moon Spice. Ah, oh, that's really good. That's going to be really nice as well. So uh, that's it. Um, on cold, I think I'm loving everything, I would say, um, because I'm a coffee-holic. Uh, so thank you Harrison so much for another great sampler um, loving the coffee thank you for the samples and um, I am going to start melting this probably in two weeks I'm going to give it two more weeks and then I will be back with some reviews for you on this coffee sampler from uh, Midnight Daydream Wax Co so check out Instagram I'll link it down below for you. Harrison, thank you so much. I hope everybody's having a great day. And don't forget to tune back at 7 p.m. for the announcement of the winner of my giveaway. I'm thankful to everybody. So uh, I will see you later, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.